I give all praises, honors and glories unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone that told me this truth that will well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Paya. And this lesson uh, is going to be out of the Lord is going to come with rebukes, with flames of fire. Right? He's not. When the Son of Man comes back on the earth, he's not going to talk. Not going to be, he talked already when he was here already in the flesh. Right? Speaking to people, healing. You know? But when the Lord comes back, He's, he's coming back in his angelic form. Scriptures say he was not meaty as a man. You know? So with that, let's get the book of Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, which are the angels, so-called UFOs which are the angels, the angelic vehicles. You know, the angels of the Lord. So I says he's a, the Lord of hosts, a man of armies, right? To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. See, he sends his men out to rebuke, to reprove, and to correct the people in society. That's how the Lord... Or, uh, talks, talks to his men, to his prophets. So they go out, cry aloud, spare not. They lift up their voice like a trumpet and they show the people their transgressions. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 59, right? But when, when, when the Heavenly Father sends his only begotten Son back on earth, it's, it's, it's people's uh, faith is, is about to be sealed. The famine of the world is coming. That's when every, you know, technology might cut down YouTube ch channels. We might not be able to prophesy in the streets anymore because it was because what's coming restrictions, prophecies. And we warn the people. We tell them what's coming. We tell them how to get right. You know, the name of the Lord, how He looks, the holy days, who they are as a nation, so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, but they don't want to listen. They are hard head, they stiff neck, prideful, and so they're going to have to reap the repercussions. See, a lot of people don't realize, they don't, they, they don't, like they may believe that the Lord is coming back, but they don't know how he's coming back. He's coming back for vengeance. You know, he even said vengeance burneth in his heart. You see? Judgment. It's not going to, oh yeah, forgive me one more time. No. That's why the Lord sends out his men. Because then when he do, does the talking, it's, it's straight judgment. The doors of repentance is closing. You know? It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You see? So he's coming for a great, you know, the angels, the laser beams, and in the midst of World War Three, with all those missiles from around the world get shot off, the arsenals landing over here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. So, and the Lord's in the midst of that. He's orchestrating all of this. You see? Let's get another scripture real quick. Right? So it says, let's get, um, pardon me. This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 12, verse 49. And it reads, it says, Salakia, St. Luke chapter 49, verse, 
I mean, uh, 12, verse 49, it says, I have come to send fire on the earth. And what will I, if it be already kindled, right? And we're seeing fire erupt different places. Places being destroyed, proxy wars. Because you got proxy wars before they become world wars. Global wars. And, and, and John of Revelator seen that. The third, he said, you know, the second woe is past, and behold, meaning, look, the third woe coming quickly, right? He's seen the technology, he's seen the, the aircrafts, and, you know, the prophets back then saw these visions of, of what's to come, which is now, but they described it to the best of their ability at the times that they were living in, you know? So they made comparisons. So the Lord said, so he said, what? Yahweh said, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already, if it be already kindled, right? Because Yahweh knew that. He, he knew the prophets, prophecies of the latter days, you know what I'm saying? Which was going to erupt. Many prophets seen the latter days, the end. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Yahweh you know, John the Revelator. So on and so forth, Estrus. You see? So when Yahweh shall come back, man, he's not coming back to talk. This is why we tell people, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he, while he is near. Because once the prophets can't speak anymore, once things are shut down, that's, that's, now it's party time, so to speak. Now it's time for shit. Now we we at the climax. We at the end of the end. You know, the end of all prophecies. And it's about to be fulfilled. You know, that's why the scripture says a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Also, uh, through the t knowing the terrors of the Lord, we persuade men. Roughly paraphrasing. So people should be persuaded through the fear of what's coming, man. Because what, that fire... That's going to be kindled. Babylon on Babylon the Great. Is referred to as the lake of fire. Which is what the second death. As the scriptures speak about. Matter of fact. Let's get that scripture real quick. Is the book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. It says, And a devil, which is a deceiver, someone who lies, these elites, these royal class families, right? That's controlling the media, the narratives, the, the information on the internet, so to speak, right? The ones that create their treaties and starts wars. Yeah, the devil, the deceiver, right? And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So, that's just a period of time, but the wicked is going to be destroyed real soon by the lake of fire, through, through that World War Three. you know? Revelation 20 and 15, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. All right, and that was the end of Revelation 20, you know? Well, 14, it says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So, like the death and hell, which is this predicament that we're in, in poverty, you know, it's going to be destroyed. The first death was by water. The Lord made the rainbow as a sign of a covenant, a promise that he wasn't going to destroy the earth by water again. But this time it shall be with what? With fuel. And with, uh, matter of fact, let me let me see. Let me get um, Isaiah. I just remembered that precept. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 9, I believe. Chapter 9 verse 4. No, verse 5, it says, For every battle of the warriors would confuse noise. 
ancient wars, right? And garments rolled in blood. Here's the point. But this, right? And Isaiah was referring to the latter days, which is now. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Because there, there was no missiles back then. There was no atomic bombs. There was no nuclear bombs, things of that nature. And, and you know, and they, those words wasn't known back then. They wasn't, you know. But this shall be fuel. By what? Salakia. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And this is why, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be a great judgment coming real soon. Do away of that. Because why? Because the people of the Lord, our people don't want to listen. As it tells you in Jeremiah 29 and 19. But let's get on. Um, I want to get one more precept. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 10. And we're coming to a time where economic economy is going to collapse. World War III is not going to start until the microchip is implemented mandatory globally. The new currency that they want. The new world order, right? But this is going to be the repercussions for those that take part of that. Revelation 14 and 10, the same. Let's start at 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, right? Which is what? This beast system, the technology, so, so on and so forth. Right? And his image and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his right hand, taking that that digital device in your body, right? Here's the repercussions. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. There you go. With, that's your judgment. With fire and brimstone. You're going to be tormented. You know, you don't want to take heed now. You're going you're gonna, to... Yeah, hey, man. A lot of judgments come. It says... In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. I'm going to just end it there. Alright, so that's how the Lord is going to rebuke. So take the, the, the words of the prophets now because before it's too late. That's why I got this image right here. With that fire, the, the missiles, that's the end. Anyway, with that, Shalom.